Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting in a Fan. <laughs> so I have here with me um, one of my feline familiars. Her name is Durga. Now Durga is also known as, um, well, I call her D usually Durga the Kitten. Um, sometimes she's Durga the Tabby Tigress. And of course, Spider Cat, because she loves to climb on top of the bathroom door, the bedroom door. Um, she also likes to uh, climb the insulated pipes, you know, for like the radiator heat and stuff like that. And then of course her other name, and I'm letting her down because she might spring out of my hands when I say it is Chica! So yes, so um, she's, she, I love her, she drives me crazy, but you know, anyway. So I'm catching up on YouTube videos because um, as I mentioned previously, um, I knew that I was going to be super busy um, the last two weeks, which I was. Um, as most of you know, I am a professional psychic and I also have a side position of employment with a company that I've worked for off and on since 2010 and it has been more full-time than part-time since September of 2014 so I have been hopping like a rabbit um, but I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it very much anyway so here's the thing so I wanted to talk since I recently wrote a video about um, yeah whenever this cat does something I'm like checking it out so I recently um, in fact it was a few hours ago made a video about me giving readings at Catland Books in Brooklyn Brooklyn um, this coming Saturday September 26th 2015 from 3 to 8 p.m. but I also wanted to make a video about my upcoming divine love healing event now this is an event that I've been leading let me think so I began leading the event that's called, that's now called the Divine Prosperity Event back in November of 2001. So I would say that I have been leading what the event that is now called the Divine Love Healing Event since about November 2002. And um, this is the event that essentially is for people who want to create, manifest, and maintain love fulfillment and joy in their already existing relationships be they romantic professional personal familial spiritual self etc um, these last few years my focus has changed slightly with regards to leading the divine love healing event so during this upcoming divine love healing event i am going to um, share with the participants a get married formula now for those of you who are watching this video regardless of whether you do or do not participate either in person or remotely in my upcoming divine love healing event I invite you to ask yourselves am I open and receptive to a divine romance Am I truly open and receptive to surrendering and releasing all the gunk within me and without me that prevents me from physically manifesting a divine romance? And I invite you to also consider the possibility that you may not be ready for it. I don't know. Because I know a lot of people that think they are truly ready and truly open and truly receptive for a divine romance and nothing could be further from the truth I also believe that for one to really be ready for a divine romance there is a lot of inner work that one needs to do I could be absolutely wrong about that because I don't know everything I know I act like I know everything but I don't know anywhere near everything what I do know is that there are people who really do not need to be in a romantic relationship people who are better off being single and um, I have a really good friend of mine who is one of my personal heroes and 
his brother is a magnet for dysfunctional romantic relationships. Like he is masterful at attracting um, the baby mama types. You know, the ones that are going to, oh, I don't like this term, but it's the only one that's going to come out of my mouth. The ratchets. You know who those bitches are. I know who those bitches are. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. But, yeah, he is, this, my personal hero's brother is masterful at physically manifesting the worst of the worst of the female race. And... Um, these are the women that are psychotic. These are the women that will uh, do something that fucks them over, if it means fucking him over. Um, and it's just like, uh-uh, mm -uh. you know, it's 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 situations like that that make me very thankful that I am a gay man. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't want to be a part of that. That that nonsense that ugh, you know I love women I really do love women but I do not love these kinds of women the women that are psychotic the women that are dysfunctional the women that are interested in causing pain um, and these women that this man magnetizes into his life are so good at that so with getting getting back to a more positive and more empowering topic so the Divine Love Healing event really is about um, healing deep emotional wounds. It is an event that makes a huge difference in the lives of the participants. And it's an event that, well, many of my metaphysical classes actually, physically manifest a lot of participants who happen to be energy healing practitioners. And since I'm also an energy healing practitioner, I take that as a huge compliment. Um, it certainly is an event for people who want to fully surrender and release the past, or at the very least, move more forward in the direction of doing so, and who really want to be free of the gunk of the past. You know, the emotional wounds, the emotional traumas, the psychological scars, the spiritual scars. It's a very powerful event, it's a very beautiful event, and it is an event that is um, amazing in a lot of ways. You know, I, I had a wonderful friend and client who um, physically manifested one of the most beautiful romantic relationships that she'd ever had after her divorce. And um, she had physically manifested this romantic relationship six months after she participated in it. And I was like, wow, that's a great track record, especially considering that in the Chaldean Hebrew Kabbalah system of numerology, the number six is the number of love, money, and creativity. And it is astrologically linked with the sun signs Taurus and Libra and their ruling planet Venus. By the way, this is a rose quartz pendant. It's one of my personal favorite uh, pendants. Um, the people that as I as I'm as I'm inclined to say the people that truly know me meaning the people that know me offline they know that um, when it comes to rings and bracelets I tend to pretty much wear the same ones over and over again but when it comes to pendants um, well rings and bracelets I wear over and over again pendants I like to wear depending upon the transiting Western astrological energies since Taurus, Libra, and Venus have a crystal connection to rose quartz. I like to wear this pendant when the sun is either in Taurus or Libra. And it just so happens that um, right now it's approximately 10.27 p.m. So at around 4.21 this morning, the sun entered Libra. Um, another way of saying that is um, the autumnal equinox, or in some magical traditions, Maybon was today. Um... And so since I um, wanted to change pendants, I'm wearing the rose quartz, um, which is really good because right now Mercury is retrograding in Libra. So this rose quartz, where my throat chakra is, is going to remind me to speak, listen to, and come from a place of divine love healing energies. 
which is so appropriate for my upcoming Divine Love Healing event. So I'm going to keep it as short and sweet as possible tonight, even though I'm going to be approaching a little more than 10 minutes. But I thank you for listening. I thank you for watching. I thank you for sharing. And I thank you for your upcoming comments and questions. And I will be creating a blog post um, about my upcoming Divine Love Healing event. And the link will be as part of the um, show more portion of the video. I'm still learning the, the, ter the YouTube terminology, so please forgive me. But for now, I wish all of you many, many, many mountains of blessings. Thank you, YouTube.